if you think you are infected, you're symptomatic, fever, cough, headache, and so you self quarantine, how soon before you can return to social situations? Is it safe to say that yeah. when you're no longer symptomatic, then you're no longer potentially shedding the virus? You can get infected, become symptomatic, resolve the symptoms, feel well, and still shed virus. You can go back to your normal life when you have two consecutive tests for the coronavirus that are negative, separated by 24 hours. Is it reasonable to expect COVID-19 to die down during the summer months, or is that just wishful thinking? Mm. It's something the president has sort of said that this may just disappear. I wish that were the case, but at this point, we just don't know. Right. I mean, it's possible, mm. but I don't know that we know for certain either way. Because... Possible because other viruses in the past have That's done right. this? Yeah, including other coronaviruses, right? I mean, even if you look at the SARS coronavirus, it did have sort of its peak, correct me if I'm wrong, late March, early April, mm -hmm. as the weather started to get warmer. That's right, but we don't know, and I don't, I don't think we can count on this either. My question for you is that I'm taking a direct flight from Delhi to New York City on Tuesday. Um, is that a good idea? And also, what can I expect when I land at JFK? Really good questions. And I know that the CDC has come out with guidance saying that those who are older, who have chronic medical conditions, should avoid these long haul flights. And I don't know with the questioner what other medical conditions you might have, but I think for everyone who's abroad, it's a question of what else is going on in their lives. As in, if their whole families are here and if their medical care is in the US, even if they have these chronic medical conditions, they may still want to fly back right. and be with their families. It's also for, for travel stuff, it's not just the question of, um, you know, is this safe for me to fly? If by flying, am I endangering anybody else? It's also just logistically, might I get caught somewhere right. that suddenly goes into lockdown and then I can't get back to my home country? Well, I I'm wondering if you can be a bit more specific about what constitutes a pre-existing health condition that would have someone be at greater risk uh, regarding the severity, of course, and the possible fatality of COVID-19. So, for example, asthma. Uh, we know that we have 25 million people or more who are impacted by this disease. Is this the type of disease that we're talking about would have or uh, cause more complications? Yeah, I mean, asthma, obviously, there are different degrees of asthma. I mean, if someone who, whenever they get an upper respiratory infection, really dramatically exacerbates their asthma, I think you would say that that person would be at a higher risk. The classical ones are things like chronic congestive heart uh, uh, failure, uh, chronic pulmonary disease, diabetes, and anybody who really is on any immunosuppressive uh, regimen. Since all the cleaning supplies and hand sanitizer is sold out everywhere, can you make your own? I've heard so many stories of people looking for any product that they can use to clean their house and hand sanitizers. Right. People are going all over the place and not getting them. Do not make your own hand sanitizer because there's something that's even more effective, which is soap and water. Right. Mm -hmm.